Good morning from our backyard. We have not filmed here for a while, but in today's video I want to talk about plants that at the moment we only have here in our backyard, and those are blueberries. Blueberries have become very popular in Europe, both to, due to their good taste and their high antioxidant content. And I think about nine times of, out of ten when I'm designing a garden, the owners will ask me to put in blueberries. But unlike other kinds of berries, uh, blueberries have very specific requirements when it comes to soil and they can't be grown just about anywhere. Blueberries prefer light sandy soil but, uh, that is rich in humus, but mo most importantly they need acidic soil. So if your soil is acidic, they're one of the few plants that will truly thrive. And uh, here in the Netherlands there are areas with peat soil and uh, that's where they will really grow well. But in most gardens the soil is not really suitable because it needs to have a pH, it really needs to be acidic and it needs to have pH around 4 to 5, 5.5 five maximum. So if your soil is more alkaline, then your best bet is growing um, blueberries in containers. And this is what I will recommend to my clients usually, and that's also what we're doing here in our backyard. And here I have some plants growing next to each other that you couldn't grow successfully in soil because they have such opposite requirements when it comes to soil acidity. On one hand, I have all these Mediterranean herbs such as rosemary, thyme, lavender here. <laughs> and these really need alkaline soil and then I have the blueberries right next to them which need acidic soil and in containers you can accommodate these uh, their needs but you wouldn't be able to grow these next to each other in a garden. These two plants I have here were uh, planted in a store-bought ericaceous compost that is suitable for uh, acidic uh, plants that need acidic soil but the problem is um, the potting mix that you buy uh, that is suitable for these plants is based peat based and uh, since peat is a quite uh, is a bit problematic uh, resource i prefer to avoid it and i have experimented with creating my own potting mix for blueberries and i want to show you the results these are two varieties of blueberries growing in a potting mix that i made myself and when you want to do that um, it's often um, recommended to use pine needles which are acidic as their base composted pine needles. So that's what I did, mixed with lots of compost because uh, blueberries need humus rich soil. And you can see it's not going quite well. Uh, the problem is that while pine needles are acidic when they're fresh or decomposing, when they are fully decomposed they become quite neutral. So uh, in the beginning these plants were planted two years ago I think and they were uh, for a year they were fine, but then uh, they started yellowing and that's, um, uh, that's a telltale sign of um, um, that the acidity is not appropriate for these plants. I have two varieties here. The uh, taller one here is called Goldtraube 71. And you can see it's bearing quite a lot of fruits and it's not yellow, unlike the other one. So that probably means that it can adapt to more alkaline soil than um, the, the other plant and that's uh, sunshine blue. So yeah, um, not, not really a success I'm afraid and um, if you have any tips for me how to avoid using peat I would appreciate that but for now I'm sticking to the commercial made potting mix which is uh, more suitable and much more successful. Here's the same variety, sunshine blue, that looks so miserable and yellow in my own potting mix. Uh, here it's uh, grown in commercial uh, acidic potting mix and you can see how healthy and uh, well it is looking and how laden with fruits it is. It's going to give us a really good harvest this year. It is also, it is a southern high bush variety, which means it's uh, partially evergreen so it also like most blueberries it has a lot of ornamental value it has pretty pink um, blossom in uh, early in the year or in spring it uh, it has uh, lots of uh, fruits and it even uh, remains evergreen and there are other varieties like the gold rubber that i showed you before that also have a really good fall color in the next pot i have a variety called pink lemonade and it's actually not a blueberry but a pink berry 
Maybe you can see the berries, they're um, getting pink already, but they're not ripe. They will, be, they will ripen quite late in the season, uh, in August or September, which will prolong our harvest season. But you can see another problem, another possible problem with blueberries, and that's pollination. The high bush blueberries are partially self-fertile, though they will give you a better yield when you have a pollinator. But the pink lemonade is a cross between a northern high bush blueberry and a rabbit eye blueberry. And that's po probably the reason that it's not getting pollinated by my other blueberries. And because the, the plant flowered really profusely in spring and we have just a handful of, on be uh, of berries on it. So what I want to do is add a pollinator and the suitable one for this plant should be Buddy Blue, which also ripens even later in September, possibly beginning of October. So that's also a great thing that will prolong our season even more. There are two more things I want to mention and that's watering and container size. When it comes to watering, the um, you don't never let your plants dry out. They really need quite a lot of moisture, especially when grown in containers, they will dry out easily. So uh, right now when we have had no rain for weeks, I'm watering them daily, but I'm only watering them with rainwater that we catch in a rain bath. And the problem is our supply is getting quite low because there has been no rain in many, many weeks. Uh, so that's one. Another one is container size. And um, same is true for all container grown plants, give them as big a container as you can. And in uh, blueberries, it means at least 30 centimeters, but possibly when the plants are older, it's better to give them a bigger container. And the bigger volume of potting mix also means that it will not dry out as easily. So this is uh, how we're growing blueberries in containers and the varieties that we have. If you have any tips for me, please leave them below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Happy gardening!